All right, so the first achievement we're doing is the Madness Contained, which requires us to spend 150 Hatred and 50 Discipline in uh, 6 seconds. We're taking Vengeance uh, Passive, uh, using Caltrops, Shadow Power, um, and Preparation. And uh, Vault for the Discipline Spending and Impale for the Hatred Spending, because uh, Impale uses 25, so that's easy to round. Um, and then pretty much it's just mash the uh, discipline skills while holding down the impale attack um, using whichever ones are in cooldown and then using preparation once I'm out of discipline and then mashing the other skills again. Next up is Olympian uh, which is using vault six times in ten seconds and this one's a pretty easy one. Um, there's two skills we can use for this. Uh, vault um, with the tumble rune, which um, makes it so the next vault within six seconds after the first vault has a 50% reduced cost. Then um, preparation, which instantly restores all of our discipline. Uh, you can even take the passive that reduces uh, discipline skills by 10% um, to make this even um, more. As you can see, just using up all the vaults, and then preparation as soon as it was done. And I've already vaulted more than six times. Uh, I think it was close to 9 actually. But uh, as you can see, it's pretty easy to do it way more than the achievement uh, requests. Alright, now we're doing Bleed You Filth, um, which is damaging 20 enemies with the Fan of Knives. And to do this, we're going to go to Nightmare, um, Act 3, uh, Bridge of Corsic, at um, the Machines of War quest. Uh, now the trick here, which makes it somewhat difficult, is that you have to actually damage them, you can't kill them um, in order to complete this. So it can be kind of hard to do, um, you know, um, unless it's just done, you know, naturally by accident uh, as you're playing. But um, <coughs> in this case, what I'm going to do is um, my Demon Hunters and geared for Inferno, so it's doing a lot of damage right now. So what I did is I found a really weak bow, um, like for way lower levels, and we're gonna equip that so my damage is uh, pretty much non-existent while I keep the rest of my armor on, so that I'm still survive. Uh, I can still survive for a fair amount. And basically, what we need to do here is run around through the fields of slaughter and get as many enemies on us as possible. And you kind of see it shifts here. And just skipped ahead until I got a whole bunch of these guys on me. And I've got survivability skills. Um, and there you go. Uh, just basically, you know, vaulted into the middle of that group, let loose the fan of knives, and uh, got it to damage all of them. Now, um, as you can see, I use shadow power and uh, preparation with the uh, life gain rune to allow myself to kind of live long enough to pull that off and also having the potions helps but um, that's pretty much it, it can be a bit tricky to pull off though alright so now we're going to do death trap which is kill 15 monsters in 5 seconds using spike traps um, this achievement has its own little tricky part to it in that you can't have any thorns on you while you pull it off so I had to take off my belt there, which has uh, damage done to melee attacks, and as you can see, my thorns is now at zero. If you have any thorns whatsoever, the achievement will unlock, so make sure you take that off. I don't know if that's a bug or not, but either way, uh, we're going to use Spike Trap with the Scatter Rune, so we place um, all three of the traps at once. And we're going to go ahead to the Stone Fort. Um, you can do the Fields of Slaughter too. Uh, and Act 3 is another good place to find lots of enemies, or any place where there's just condensed groups. Um, I like this particular area though, uh, because of the fact that there's like nooks and crannies and whatnot that you can get enemies funneled towards, and you need to get them in a little small space here. Uh, either way, um, we're on normal mode here, so it's another good thing not to have thorns, because these guys will just die if they hit me with uh, my regular thorns there, but we want them to die as easily as possible. And I'm 
just trying to get a whole group of them now around me until I'm sure I have at least 15. It looks like I have about that much now, but definitely more. So, alright, now we're ready, so we start placing down the traps. And I killed 15 with that first blow, and that unlocks our death trap achievement. And just for the hell of it, I can even kill more, so. Definitely more than enough there. And that's it. Alright, now we're doing the right where I want you achievement, um, which is keeping a boss snared using cow chops for 40 consecutive seconds. Um, best place to do this I've found is the breach keep, or you can start right outside the GOM boss battle. You've got cow chops, and we've got carved stakes to make them cost only 4 discipline. And uh, we've got custom engineering, and perfectionist. Um, and then we've also got preparation to restore discipline. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, get into this boss fight here. And uh, I'm geared for Inferno now, but we're doing this in Nightmare, so it's a good idea to do this somewhere where he can't really hurt you much. But the good thing about Gom for this achievement is that he doesn't really have any disabling attacks, where he'll stop you from placing more caltrops down. His attacks are very basic, just damage. Uh, for the most part, he's not gonna knock you back. Um, and he doesn't really teleport or dash apart uh, around the map. He's just going to sit there and, as you can see, just, you know, let us trap him. And he doesn't really have to move around for this to work. He just needs to be uh, in the uh, effect of the cow chop itself. And I'm just placing one every few seconds. And as you can see, my discipline actually restores fast enough that uh, I can place new cow chops before the other ones expire, but I'm just doing a little extra to make sure. And there you go. Placed a few more, and uh, the achievement pops. <coughs> Very easy. And we can just finish them off now. 